Hi everyone, this is Kevin and I'm going to give you a walk forward testing example today. So today we just have a simple strategy that's on the ES daily bars. And what we're going to do is we're going to run an in sample optimization for four years and then we're going to have an out of sample period of one year. And then we're going to keep on going and step through to the present day. Okay, so first, let me show you the dates that we're going to be using to start. We start January 1st, 2009, and December 31st, 2012, so that's four years. And the strategy we're going to be using just looks like this. just says if it's a higher close, buy the next bar. If it's a lower close, sell short. And we have a stop loss, and that's the only variable we're going to optimize. So with that... Why don't we run our first optimization? We're going to run the stop values from 500 to 1,000 in increments of 25. And there we go. And you could see the best one is $850. So that gives us the best profit. So what we do is we record that. 850 so that's the value of the stop we'll use in 2013 now we want to run to 2010 through 2013 so as we do let's just change the dates and then we're just going to re-optimize Okay, and there's our optimization results, and you can see now it says the best value to use is $975. So going back to here, so in 2014 we'll want to use $975 to get our out of sample results. And finally, we go from 2011 to 2014 with our test. So we start 2011, end on December 31st, 2014. We run the optimization again. And we get the final results. Now it's saying $650 is the best to use for the last out of sample period. So now what we want to do is we want to combine the 2013 out of sample, 2014, and 2015 out of sample. Well, how do we do that? We have to put it in the strategy in a date fashion. Let me explain and show you. Okay, so first what we'd want to do is we'd actually want to make the stop loss a variable now because it no longer is going to be something we're going to optimize. So we can just set it to whatever we want. And then we're going to say if the current date is less than I'm sorry, is greater than January 1st, 2013 and the date is less than December 31st, 2013, then the stop loss value is going to be equal to 850. And then by the same path, we say 2014, we wanted the stop to be 975. And 2015, we want it to be 650. So there's our code. That is the walk forward code. This will give us all out of sample results. So we want to run it from 2013.
through today. I just put December 31st, 2015. It'll automatically go to the last date in the series. And there it is. And the results look like this. Not so good. The out of sample performance is nowhere near as good as some of the optimized performance, but that's part of the goodness of walk forward testing because it's a tougher test than just an optimized test. So that's pretty much it. So again, just to recap, what we did is we tested the in sample period with optimization. We got a result and we saved it for 2013. We moved forward a year, we walked forward a year, re-optimized, determined $975 was the best for 2014. Then we walked forward one more time and determined for 2015 we should be using $650. Then we put that in our code with dates so that during these certain dates certain stop losses are going to be used and then we got our results and that's pretty much walk forward by hand there's software you can use to do it to do it quicker and I recommend that but at first it's probably a good idea just to try it by hand and see what you get and also to understand the process better so that's all for now thanks